Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I wish I had some good news for you, but I don't. It looks like, unfortunately, the worst case scenario is unfolding. Hurricane, major Hurricane Ian, is turning east when it comes off of Cuba, and that makes it a lot stronger and a lot bigger impacts. And I'm still seeing a 24-hour stall. Now, the one thing I always care about is safety. That is the number one thing. Please help me alert others. Let them know that this storm is turning east. It's not gonna wobble back to the west and just clip a little bit of western Florida. It's going into Florida. I saw it last night on the 18Z on a Euro, but I wanted to wait for the 0Z because the 0Z and 12Z is only two times you get information from the weather balloons. And sure enough, it is consistent. It has very strong winds and a lot of heavy rainfall coming towards Florida. And the warnings have updated. So last night, Florida Keys, Western Florida Keys, got hurricane warnings out. And all along Western Florida, instead of a hurricane watch, you have a hurricane warning with tropical storm warnings and a hurricane watch over here by Cedar Keys. Also tropical storm warnings over most of Florida. This is turning right into Florida and the big impacts is going to be right in central Florida. Now the most likely time to feel tropical storm conditions at least would be Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. So it definitely means a stream needs to start later tonight and just go for 24, 36 hours, somewhere around there. I know YouTube don't like you to go past 12 hours, but I don't care. I'm not trying to get paid off this stream. I just want to give you all as much information as I can and keep you all as safe as possible. I know a lot of people are going to be streaming this if you want your answers question, if you need somebody to talk to, I will be here for you. I'm not going anywhere. The earliest time would be Tuesday at 8 p.m. The earliest time for tropical storm conditions would be later tonight. And so far, what we can see through the model data, the Euro taking it on a sharp turn to the east. And as you go into tomorrow morning, it is already hitting the edge of Florida and stays there all the way until Thursday. Making landfall around a 957 a 960 so definitely at least a cat 2 more than likely a major hurricane impacts because it's turning east so quickly now then when it comes on florida it's going to stay there and still get that stall from the two different winds and just sit there and then head north so it will be a lot of winds and a lot of rainfall i'm showing almost two feet for some areas now and so far still have the heaviest winds in the Gulf of Mexico, but you can see how they're carrying into Western Florida now. It is really gonna be impactful. We are picking up 119 miles per hour wind gusts, and that is with the Euro. That is the latest run, and I'm sure it will get more as we see this strengthening and going more on this land curving. So I believe this will be a little bit more. This is your wind gust. GFS is on the same track as the Euro, showing the same thing down to a 959, a 963 major hurricane coming on land, guys, and it's still stalling before it heads north. So it will be a 24-hour period before this system heads north after landfall. And GFS also confirming this sharp eastern turn and going right into Florida bringing a lot of damaging wind gusts. All this pink you see is over a hundred miles per hour wind gusts. Plus the flooding has really ramped up and it's going to be really bad and it's going to go all over the southeast. So all the way until tomorrow we have a moderate section, slight risk, and the marginal right here in the green. As we go through Thursday morning, this is gonna to continue to move north with your big moderate section. You're already saturated, so it automatically is gonna put y'all in the moderate section. As you go through Friday morning, it's gonna to continue to go northern with this moderate level. The whole state of Florida is gonna be under moderate flash flooding. It is gonna be really heavy and really bad. A lot of power outages and a lot of possible damages from these winds. And as we keep going from Thursday into Friday, now when you go from Friday into Saturday, you have a big slight risk for flash flooding with a moderate level right here for the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. And as you go from Saturday into Sunday, it's gonna keep going northern up to the mid-Atlantic and really affect a lot more people than just Florida. It's a whole Southeast in the mid-Atlantic that's gonna be getting a lot of flooding at least from this hurricane. Next five days rainfall, National Hurricane Center has ramped it up because of this eastern turn. Now, who's gonna get 10 to 15 inches 
is in all of this red and all this pink right here is 15 to 20 inches and this area right here with the purple 20 inches plus of rainfall and you can see right here according to the euro just big heavy rainfall going all over florida coming in from the west by tampa and turning north by jacksonville and you can see the numbers yourself very heavy amounts of rainfall this will be serious flooding serious storm surge i think it's going to be a little worse than they anticipated this is starting to look bad guys gfs brings even heavier amounts of rainfall a bigger section of that light purple that you see that's over two feet we're showing a possible 34 inches maybe three feet of rain coming in this area in the next couple of days to come the storm surge watch and warnings has gone up even further as well you're on a storm surge watch and all this purple right here storm surge watch you're on a storm surge warning and all this pink this just means that you're going to be seeing it a lot sooner and sooner or later these watches are going to turn into warnings also it's all a timing issue how far away are these impacts the amount of storm surge is still the same the most is still right here by Tampa is still five to 10 feet expected because you have all them harbors, all that water in there, just keeping everything flowing. And with y'all low shelf, that's why it's just shoving the wind, shoving all this rainfall, all this water to the east. And it's going to keep shoving it until the winds die down. And the winds ain't going to die down for quite some time. So it will be a lot of flooding. But when you look at the storm surge inundation, even though we all know that Tampa and the surrounding area, you have a lot of people living there. You have the five to 10 feet possible, but also down here by Port Charlotte, Port Charlotte, Cape Coral, all y'all looking like y'all definitely have the chances for five to 10 feet of storm surge. All this red is 10 feet of storm surge. All the orange is six feet. All the yellow is three feet. So it's definitely a lot of inundation going to happen. It's not just Tampa. It's Port Charlotte. It's all down Western Florida. Look, Fort Myers, y'all got expected up to 10 feet of storm surge. There's going to be a lot of storm surge, not just one area. It's going to be multiple areas all down Western Florida. The latest wind gusts, according to the Euro, brings a lot of heavy winds. We're talking over 115 miles per hour all along the western coast of florida get up to 120 as it goes towards longboat keys but everybody else is looking like 110 or more miles per hour wind gusts and then you got the big field of the 90 and the 80 going all the way down towards cape coral this is according to the euro but another thing i want to point out is icon model it only goes five days because it knows it's not going to be accurate past that it sees a sharper turn and according to the wind gusts of the icon model y'all could be looking at a high of 130 miles per hour wind gusts definitely in the 20s as this comes by so north port all the way up towards tampa so far it looks like it's going to turn by tampa but we all know things can change but early this morning we are seeing major winds with a big field of 80 and 90 this is wind gusts that is going to be coming with the system as it turns in and then goes up the coast and does more damage to other people as well so i just wanted to keep this short just so y'all knew what the new impacts was get the word out to y'all alert people let them know that this storm is turning east everybody was hoping it'd stay on that northern track a little bit longer but it is hooking east and you can see all the storm cells that's coming in this band as it comes over florida for today so like i said before i know there's going to be a lot of streams up everybody in there grandma is going to be live streaming this event if you want someone to talk to someone to answer your questions i will be here live streaming this as well i don't care how long it goes it's just going to be one continuous stream in light of everything going on i want to read this to you again because this is very important that you keep this within yourself it'll keep you calm It'll keep you assured of your decisions. That's why I don't do hype on my live stream because when you do all that hype, people make mistakes when they're all anxious and nervous and just all hyped up. The best thing to do is stay calm, make the best decisions as possible and do the best you can for people. So I will try my hardest to give you all as safe and as much accurate information as I can. I will be here for you all. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so when the live stream comes up, Leave a tab open for me. I will answer your questions. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you all today. Please get your preparations done if you are not done. I'm so sorry for this Eastern turn. I wish there was something I could have done about it. It's all in God's hands. Only God knows what is going to happen. I will be here for you. All glory. All honor, all power does go to God. Our Father in heaven. And I pray that he weakens this storm. But most of all, his will be done. And keep all of you safe. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you all.